far from your grace. Welcome to Recovery Radio, where we have hope for you today. When I was the lost soul searching, you were the ground beneath my feet. When I was the blind man begging, you were the eye so I could see. Hey, good morning. Welcome to Recovery Radio. Uh, I'm your host, Mike. Hey, it's good to be back. Been away for just a little bit. Uh, John is my co-host. Good morning, John. Hey, good morning, Mike. Good morning. Uh, John, I'm glad you're back. Uh, yeah, it's good to yeah. be. It's good to be back. <laughs> uh, I went to uh, let's see. I had uh, last Saturday's program mm-hmm. off, and it was uh, kind of a, a a nice change of pace. Uh, yeah. My wife and I really enjoyed that, and uh, and then I've been in Dallas for uh, an amazing pastors conference, oh, yeah. and. Uh, so uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get to go next year. That Mike, that sounds really amazing. Mike, Mike's Mike's if, if uh, he's just been rambling on and on about it, and I'm just like, oh, I wish I could have been there. <laughs> amazing stuff, man. Yeah. We have some amazing people. We'll talk about it a little bit more. Yeah. We got a couple of things we have to take care of right, today. Right. So uh, uh, why don't you open us up in prayer, John? I'd love to. I'd love to. Dear Heavenly Father, just thank you so much again for this time of fellowship, time we can come together and worship you and focus on you and your word. And Lord, I just pray that you just uh, bless our listeners and everybody out there in our listening audience um, for this time that we come together and that uh, we can focus more on you and that we can only do life only by you leading us. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. We know a lot of people uh, sick. Yeah. It's the flu yeah. season and then, in the, you know, the epidemic and a little bit of right. panic of what's going on over in China and mm-hmm. some of the cases coming here. So um, we know that's a little bit challenging in, in the minds of of people. Mm-hmm. And uh, so we, we can't panic. God's in charge. He knows what's that's going it. on. But uh, uh, we're going to we're going to lift our producer, Miss Pat, up. She's yeah. not. Uh, feeling a hundred percent, she's got a little bit of the. She got the bug. The, the bug that's it's going <laughs> around. Everybody almost oh, it has had been. it. Knock on wood, I haven't yeah. gotten it yet. So <laughs> I'll tap my head, and um, and uh, so you know we um, we know that you're uh, not feeling well out there in in listening land. So uh, we hope that you uh, get better. That's our prayer. That's it. for people to uh, to get better, feel better, and and get back outside right. wherever you are. Mm. So, uh, Bill, good morning. Our engineer, so Hi, thankful. Morning. So thankful for what you do. We've got mm-hmm. uh, Val in the studio. We've got Kimmy answering phones. Mm-hmm. Polly, our prayer warrior. Mm-hmm. And did I miss anybody? Oh, Terry's back there uh, somewhere. T- and Terry, yes, somewhere. thank you. I knew. Social media guru. Oh, man, <laughs> yeah. she is the best. I watch all the posts. If you look on YouTube or or Facebook or any of our uh, Instagram yeah. and Twitter, if you look on our accounts, mm-hmm. uh, she has got some of the uh, the most amazing yeah. uh, scripture and sayings and mm-hmm. quotes yeah. uh, that there is. It's uh, We're so thankful to have her. Right. So, yeah, good stuff. Yeah, it is. We had a couple um, subscribers this last week again, so that's great. Glad to see people after subscribing to our... Uh to our posts and everything we're putting out there so that's wonderful so if you haven't been there hey check us out recovery radio lhc.com um and you can get linked up to all the different places on social media there and check it out yeah hmm? amen good stuff hey we got some uh, oh yeah we've got some sponsors to thank we you. sure do hey i'd like to send a shout out to ohana poke bowl they bring authentic hawaiian poke bowl and hawaiian foods to you they are located in the batches shopping center in lake havasu city so if you're ever in the lake havasu city area um you can find out where they're at they're at 3269 maricopa avenue um, thank you so much for sponsoring our show and sponsoring knlb we also have Ace Pest Control, serving the Lake Havasu area for 20 years with termites, pests, weeds, and fumigation needs. And they can be reached um, online, acepestcontrolaz.com, or 928-680-0988. And I did call them this week because we had a really wet winter. So in Arizona, the weeds just come out everywhere. It almost looks like grass, the weeds come. <laughs> like out of nowhere. Oh, Boom. my gosh, yeah. yeah. So I'm glad they're coming out this week and checking it out and uh, seeing what they can do for me. So thank you so much, Ace, for uh, sponsoring our show. And also we have Sunshine RV with Kyle and the boys. Experience sales and services is best. They also have an awesome parts department. So all you RVers out there, if you're looking for parts, um, thank you, Sunshine RV. They're at 2995 Maricopa Avenue or 928-855-6648. And we'd also like to send a special shout-out. We have an anonymous sponsor. 
Yeah. And I just really want to thank whoever that anonymous person is. <laughs> thank you so much um, for your contribution and uh, supporting um, Recovery Radio and uh, keeping us live and on the air on KNLB. Yeah, I know they're a long-time listener and really love the show, but uh, yeah. they want to make it about God and, and right. the show, not them, and we're yeah. so thankful. Yeah. Uh, whoever that is, we're, right. we're so grateful because uh, it takes a team. It does. It takes a team to yeah. uh, produce this show and do it. Mm -hmm. And I, as I said, Miss Pat, our producer, is under the weather today. Oh, so. Yeah. Um, we keep her in prayers, but it takes a whole team from meetings yeah. to scheduling to calls right. to emails to right. everything that Terry does and mm -hmm. and, uh, and 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 uh, and Bill. So we're so grateful right. to uh, to have so many people yeah. involved. That's that's what a, it takes. I kind of feel like a, a kid. You know, your mom goes away, and you just kind of run amok when she's not around. So Mama Pat's not in the studio. So I'm kind of like, what do we do? What do we do? <laughs> Yes. She's going to call me now. Yeah. <laughs> yes, she will. She keeps us in line. Uh, yes, she does. She's a... Uh uh, her and Mr. Uh, Mr. Tom. Yeah. <laughs> Words of wisdom. Uh, they're a great example of a married couple. Right. Uh, in ministry. Yes. And serving. So, uh, yes, they again, are. we're so thankful mm -hmm. for them. Hey, uh, Hilltop Community Church provides shirts and hats for yes. us. Yes. And they are really nice. Yeah. Uh, so you have the opportunity to win one of those uh, from a drawing uh, if you call in, and the mm -hmm. number now mm -hmm. is 1 800 721 9313. In the White Mountains, 928 537 1111. And our local Havasu number is 928 855 9110. Kimmy is available to, uh, to talk to, mm -hmm. and we can get you on the air. Uh, we're going to talk about a few things today, so yeah. just preparing you for that. And, and Bill will click a button and put you on live. So right. uh, we're looking forward to that. But you get in uh, uh, to uh, to win that prize. Mm -hmm. So uh, let me just briefly explain what the show really is about. It's about any hurt, any struggle, any challenge. It's really I call it a program for sinners. Mm -hmm. So uh, any That's of the, everybody, any of the saints <laughs> out there, uh, you could listen to some music today because mm -hmm. it's not a program about you, right? Yeah. Okay. It's it's, it's a program about <laughs> sinners. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, and it's uh, we have uh, such a variety of, of topics and guests mm -hmm. and and uh, we, we have uh, a few amazing guests coming right. up in in our future that are scheduled. So yeah, I'm excited about it. Yeah. So, yeah. These are some really good ones coming up. Some good stuff coming yeah. up. Yeah. So uh, that's what we're about. We're going to we're going to share stories and testimonies and we're going to share real life mm -hmm. uh, with you. And, and we hope that that will will help you through uh, your struggle because one of the one of the biggest uh, um, flags for the enemy is mm -hmm. that he, they, he wants to keep you isolated That's alone. It. Your stuff is unique. No oh, one has yeah. ever gone through that. Mm -hmm. Therefore, no one will ever understand mm -hmm. or they're going to judge you or they're mm -hmm. going to think, oh, we yeah. can't be around that person. Yeah. Do you, did you see what they they did or did you hear their story right that's exactly that's it, that's what he it. wants that's exactly it and uh he's taken down um millions mm. upon millions of people and yeah. taken them out that way exactly. so uh, exactly we, we have to be careful john oh yeah yeah but um you know we aren't here um to fix anybody yeah amen uh, that, that is the big one um we don't have that kind of power or do i even want that kind of power um only jesus does he is our higher power he is the only one that can bring you healing and um, and fix you actually. Um, you turn everything over to him and let him take the reins and guide your life. Um, what we are here to do is um, to come together. We're we're here to share, like Mike said, share each other's burdens. These you'll find these things right out of the Bible. If you look at Galatians six two, he talks about that. Um, we were come we come together to encourage each other. That that's out of Hebrews uh, ten twenty five. It mentions that. And we're also here to build each other up and lift one another in prayer. You can find that in First Thessalonians five eleven. So those are our main scriptures, pretty much, yeah. about what we're here for. And that's what we're here to do. Amen. And the show's for you. Uh, like Mike said, we'd love to hear from you. Give us a call. Just remember, your situation is not unique. Uh, if you need to talk to somebody or if we've blessed you in any way or you need prayer or you're looking for guidance, we can, we can point you in the right direction and get your resources in your area. 800-721-9313. 
800-242-9313. Give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. Yeah, John. Also, uh, Terry has put together uh, so many ways to mm-hmm. get a hold of us in, in different avenues to go right. back and listen to past shows and mm-hmm. find out what we're all about and everything else. Yeah. Why don't you tell them, sure. tell the listeners all of those avenues that oh, yeah, she's definitely. put together. Definitely. So on our webpage, recoveryradiolhc.com, it's... Uh, Lima Hotel, Charlie, for you military people, uh, recoveryradolhc.com. Um, on that page, you can actually find uh, the last week's show um, from YouTube. You can find that there, so you can actually listen to the show there. We also have all our shows um, that we got recorded archived. Now, we don't have all of them. Oh, we have technical issues, so, so we do have a majority of them. So if you want to go back and listen to some of the older shows and see what those topics are and um, listen to what we talk about on there, uh, those are there to, for you to listen to and peruse. And also there's uh, all kinds of resources on there to um, show you where you can get plugged in, um, whatever you're looking for. You know, there's um, all the different uh, CRs or CRs in your area. There's uh, We've had divorce care on here before. You can plug into that, and, we'll, and it'll show you where those are in your area. Um, there's AA, all the different types yeah. of meetings yeah. there. Grief share. Grief there's share. So many, there's yeah, so there much are. information. So, yeah. uh, and if, if the, the information that you need is, um, it, you don't find it, mm-hmm. then uh, email yeah, us. Definitely. Give us, give us, um, uh, give us a shout out and, um, and we'll get back to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, we pray continually for the listeners and yeah. we get emails and, and Terry answers, um, answers them uh, best mm-hmm. that she can oh yeah so uh, we can find a resource for right. you yep and we got a couple more resources that are going to be posted on there we had some people contact us this last week um thank you so much for contacting us and let us know what you have available um we will be getting that up on our web page as well so keep coming back and looking at it and you might find something that um will get you plugged in and get uh, you help amen. amen also if you're in the area and um you're traveling into Arizona or through Arizona, uh, mm-hmm. we possibly uh, may have you as a guest. Yeah, that would be great. So tell us your story or mm-hmm. situation that you've uh, um, gone through, mm-hmm. and uh, maybe we can share that with our listeners. Uh, yeah. Amen. We're, we're open to, to all of that, mm-hmm. and um, it, that's why we're here, yep. right? Better yep. together. That's it. it if, we, together. if we don't get it out, then uh, mm-hmm. you know, there's healing and revealing. Oh, that's for right? sure. Definitely. That's so we speak one. it, and yeah. all of a sudden, somebody says, "Oh my gosh, that's my story." That's it. Wow, and yeah. they they have gone through it, and mm-hmm. they're on the other side. I yeah. want that. Yeah, all of us have a story, uh, no matter what it is. You that's might not right. think it's anything, but all of us have a story in our walk um, with Christ and our salvation story. Um, I remember the very first thing that happened to me when I turned my life back. I, I accepted Christ at a really young age, but I really didn't have a concept of what it meant. Mm-hmm. All, all I knew was was I wasn't going to go to hell. <laughs> that was the big thing as a kid. That's what you think of. Um, so I kind of did life my way, which didn't work out really well um, up into my 40s. And when I turned my life back over to Christ, and I remember one of the very first things that was asked of me was um, actually the church here in town, Calvary, the pastor there, um, approached me right after I rededicated my life. And he said, hey, I want to go to lunch. I want to know your story. Scared me to death because yeah. of healing and revealing. Yeah. Oh. I was terrified Yeah, because it was like I had that facade. Okay, I'm rededicating my life, but I don't want anybody to know what I've done with my life at, up to that point because it wasn't good. <laughs> you know, So I didn't want anybody to know because I thought they'd all judge me. Yeah. That'll look, oh, you're one of those people, you know, but we all have it. We all have those stories. And after, you know, after I got to know him and after I've gone through some, you know, you know some studies, some uh, recovery things and. Um, then I realized what it was all about and that I wasn't going to be judged. Yeah. And and that's what they want to know. It's it's what, what was your walk? Yeah. We can use this to bring other people healing, you know, and, and you don't really realize that your life and your story and what you've gone through is going to do that. Yeah. You know, and, and if you look at the Bible, there's so many. It's it's a bunch of stories in the Bible. There's a lot of stories. There's big one underlying story. It's all about Jesus, period. Um, but all the little stories in there all show that. Everybody in there has had issues. Everybody, you know, it's not these stories where it's like, here's the hero, and he was great. He walked with God. It was wonderful. You know, every one of them, even King David, you know, we hold him up. It's King David. He was great. He wasn't good. No, he, 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 still, he still messed up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and I mean, it goes on and on and on. It does. It does. It just yeah. shows that nobody, nobody 
on this planet can do it. The only person that ever did was yeah, Jesus, Jesus himself. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, and that's what you know. If you're not a if you're not a believer, you're listening to to this show, or or you don't read the Bible. I, I want to tell you that. Uh, the Bible is full of mm. characters just oh. like all of us. Exactly. That were so flawed and had so many challenges, mm-hmm. and, and but yep. by the grace of of God, yeah. uh, He changed their life. Yeah. Amen. And uh, and that's what that's why we're here today. Yeah. We're here to shout out and yeah. and. Um, and tell of our stories and mm. and how we were so uh, yeah. so driven by ourselves that uh, mm. uh, we got uh, we got into many challenges within oh, our yeah. life Definitely. through family and everything else. So mm. that's for sure. Yeah, Amen. So uh, today uh, let's uh, let's talk a, let's talk a little bit about um, your belief, your faith. Uh, yeah. Let's let's hear from you, the listener, on mm-hmm. on um, what changed in your life. Yeah. Uh, going through through anything any struggle or any challenge yeah, i mean we we'd love to mm-hmm. we'd love to hear of your walk of what took place yeah. and, and and where you're at today and mm-hmm. and it may be a difficult place today yeah. and and we'll be able to pray for you yeah. so our number one eight hundred seven two one nine three one three. 721 uh you know i went to this uh, uh pastor's conference and and uh, I I, uh, I just got so filled up. Yeah. There were so many amazing mm. um, preachers, yeah, and uh, from all over the world. Uh, and and I, it was it was uh, very dynamic. Phil Dooley, who is from uh, uh, Hilltop Church in mm. Australia, uh, Priscilla Schreier. Mm. Oh, she was amazing. Wow, just uh, just amazing. Lou Giglio. Mm-hmm. Uh, That's a well-known name. It, it, it really <laughs> is. Uh, he's one of my favorites, and and it was hosted by Ed Young at mm-hmm. Fellowship, and uh, well, they had uh, Jeremy Camp. And there's a brand new movie. I just talked yes. to you, Val, about I it. I still if you believe. Yeah. Maybe jump on on there and and tell them a little bit, maybe uh, it about looks like s- a, some of the atmosphere. It that, looks like a real tearjerker, though. It, it is. I, yeah. Well, he has a powerful story. It, yeah, he does. It, and it I've seen like parts it. of it, and just seeing the little parts of it, I was like, I don't <laughs> want to go. I'm going to be bawling my head off. We, sh- <laughs> we, we saw a clip there about oh, it. And it was, oh, my uh, gosh. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, but, again, yeah. you know, uh, uh, amazing stuff mm-hmm. taking taking place within within hollywood because yeah. don't forget hollywood is very yeah. uh, very distorted and, very. and far away from christ mm-hmm. but they're seeing that um there's a it seems to be a little bit of a movement mm-hmm. there yeah that's that's the amazing thing about these stories that mm-hmm. they're finally kind of have the door open a little bit for um jesus to be seen in a different way mm-hmm. by there's there's so much darkness yeah. Um, in, in that area, mm-hmm. that just that little bit of light is like, whoa, what is that? Yes. Yeah. That's really intriguing. I want to uh, hear about that. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So. Uh, becoming uh, uh, successful because mm-hmm. uh, uh, Hollywood is uh, about money. Yeah. And and uh, fortunately, uh, the, the Christian film is making money. Mm-hmm. People mm-hmm. are going to see them. Right. So just a little crack in the in the That's in the that. door to get your foot in. So mm-hmm. there's some good stuff going on there. Uh, T.D. T. D. Jakes, a uh, mm-hmm. pretty well-known uh, uh, pastor, uh, mm-hmm. closed this out. And uh, what, a, what a powerful message, yeah. wow. powerful message on the, the flaws of David yeah. in, in First Samuel. All things. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, you know, he brought to life in the Bible. If, mm. if, you, if you read the words and you're a believer, it just comes to life. Yeah, it brings it the those stories that you think are impossible mm. it just brings them right to life it and does. it's amazing what happens it transforms oh, you it yeah. goes in you so uh you the yeah. listener man uh, we want to encourage you to to go ahead and and do that you know one of the one of the speakers said you you never hear of an army mm. that uh, they bring weapons and horses and men and, and, and so many different avenues to fight the war. But the one thing they never bring, mm. they don't bring the white flag. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When they, ha- when they have to surrender, they search for uh, something that's white to put yeah. on a stick or a pole. But they never, yeah. they never bring that into battle. Oh, no. And, and, and think about that because you're setting yourself up right off the bat. Exactly. For, I've got to pre- be prepared for when I, right. when I lose or when I fall. Yeah, that's good. That I silly. wave the white fl- flag. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's so. Uh, yeah. It was a really good point that, wow. that stuck with me. Yeah, that we we have to walk in faith, right? 
and believe that that God is right there with us, which He is, mm -hmm. because when one falls, another can help lift up, yeah. and He promises us to be right there mm -hmm. uh, with Him. So, in in your walk, I hope you're not walking alone, because all of us have tried it in yeah. this in this room uh, today, yeah. and we've all failed. It mm -hmm. doesn't work. And yes. we tried over and over and mm -hmm. over. And you know, John, you mentioned a couple of things. The mask, mm -hmm. you know, putting oh, yeah. a facade about. Oh no, if somebody, if I tell somebody my story, oh, yeah. oh my gosh, man, yeah. they'll just think, wow, you can't come here. Yeah, right. Exactly. You got to get away from me. <laughs> yeah, and that's um, that's the uh, mm. you know the the trickery of the devil. He yeah. gets mm -hmm. in our head and tells mm -hmm. us, oh no, you you can't uh, you can't tell anybody yeah. your story. Yeah. Because when you do, you begin to heal. Yep. Now somebody else has part of your story. Mm -hmm. And I think what you were talking about earlier, Mike, you and I were having a discussion about your time out there in Texas. And um, you're talking about Lou Giglio mentioning that um, the Lord prepares a table in the presence of your enemy. I think mm -hmm. that he's also preparing you by you sharing your story. That's part of his preparation mm -hmm. for the next, it for is. the next step that he takes you to. Yeah. I well, uh, yeah. it's it's such a good point. That is. That, uh, and the devil's sitting right there. Oh, yeah. And uh, he's telling you, yeah, we're, <laughs> no, we'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. We, we don't need all this. And God's telling you, no, I love you. You walk with me. Yeah. Trust me. Mm -hmm. So we always have a choice, mm -hmm. right? I mean, that's why God gives us still free will. Mm -hmm. And uh, I look back, and, and I uh, he had been calling me for a long time as a child and, and then a young adult. But uh, I didn't listen. I did my oh, yeah. my own thing. And uh, I, I'm fortunate, John, to uh, at 50, it yeah. took me a long time. I'm, yeah. I'm Italian, so I'm a little more hard-headed, apparently. Uh, Headstrong. To, I was close. I was in my 40s when yeah, I came you're, back. You're, so, you're, you know. you're, right, you're right there. So anyways, uh, we, we beat ourselves up mm. pretty pretty good. Mm. So uh, we'd love to hear uh, a, a touch of your story and, and redemption or your struggle or your mm. challenge. Phone number 1-800-721-9313. Or the local number nine two eight eight five five nine one one zero. Hey, Mike, I wanted to. I, I didn't get to do the scripture today. I want to do a scripture real quick. Can I do that? Oh, you sure can. All right, all right. So this one's out of John, out of John ten. It is uh, verses seven through ten. And I, I had a, a study this week, and I was talking or going through this thing, and and in the study they were saying, this, yeah, I don't want to be a Christian, you know, because you look at all the rules, you know, your, your life is taken away from you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's like you can't do anything. You can't have any fun. Why would I want to do something like that? And, you know, you know I, the typical religion, you know, I thought yes. exactly that. Too. Yeah, but that then, was my exact thought. Exactly. Like, oh, my life is over now. Yeah. But then you look at what Jesus actually says. Right. So in John 10, 7 through 10, therefore, Jesus said again, very truly, I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who come before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep have not listened to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. They will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and to kill and destroy. I have come that you may have life and have it abundantly. Wow. That is what he came here for. He came here to give us life and give us that abundant life, a full life. And it is amazing. Like you're just saying, you, you always think, yeah, I don't want to yeah. do that. You guys don't have any fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but I. Yeah. After you turn your life, opposite. it is exactly the opposite because now you're free. Yes, totally free. Yes. and it's like wow, you know, and and you can see things, and and you just your my life is just so much fuller, you know, living under him, living in his lordship, and yeah. and and doing what he's having me do. And it's just it's completely it's mind blowing the way it, it's changed. You know your perception and what's going on in life and what's happening and yeah. you know and and the things you know that are bad, you don't have a desire for those right. anymore. Yeah, because you know he does. Yeah, it does. He changes cha your heart. He changes you. Yeah. <clears throat> mm. You know, I want to uh, uh, quick little shout out to Aaron and the boys that are listening in ah. in uh, in prison. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> and Mike's, yeah. Mike's getting the Mike's getting the crud. Everybody I'm else has. Oh no! no. I, don't start. I, don't I, cough this I've, way. <laughs> I've avoided it for a long for a long time. But uh, it, it, I'm on the wrong mic. Anyways, uh -oh. uh, you know, they're faithful listeners, and, and and my point being is that they're in they're in prison mm. with with physical yeah. um, bars and yeah. and controlled and and rules and guidelines mm -hmm. that they uh, have no choice right but to follow mm -hmm. and we as as 
uh, people who walk outside mm -hmm. of prison mm -hmm. uh, can be so captured yeah. in bondage mm. with chains oh, and yeah. struggles and and uh, you know more uh, so than who are in prison that's right yeah that's Sometimes, right yeah. i've talked to so many people who've been in the prison system and they found christ and they said they were free you can see they it were, in their eyes yes. and their face and their body and their walk oh yeah they're in prison but they are totally they free. Are free yes yeah. and so aaron is there now and and um uh we've uh heard from him in in letters and and he started a bible study and and uh, a little recovery program in there and there are uh, mm. more that are gathering and gathering so great nice. job Aaron Amen. and uh, we're praying for you mm -hmm. and uh, we know that we know that only God yes can make that change now you think for me I was more of a control person mm. wearing the masks putting the facade on yeah. saying things are fine things yeah. are okay I mm -hmm. can do this always right. thinking that I Mm -hmm. could overcome this and do this and yeah. and uh, it just brought me to a place of, of surrender yep. you know that white flag that I just talked surrender about to win that's your that, yeah. that, that white flag I, <laughs> I, I, I wanted to quit yeah. you know I didn't bring one with me yeah. through my life but I found that I needed one mm. and it was torture yeah it was torture yeah oh, so wow. uh, yeah so it was very yeah. tough I, yeah. I believe uh, I believe we got a caller on line one yep Hello, Adam. Welcome to Recovery Radio from Victorville. Yes, sir. Good morning, guys. I just wanted to thank you for your uh, encouragement, you know, that you guys stand for and everything you talk about. Like, I, I called in once before that I've been raised with the environments that you talk about. And my dad's 75 years old, and we I've been doing a Bible study for over 10 years because I always wanted it to be an open door to my friends and family. Hmm. And it seems like it never opened up the door to my family because I'm the baby. So they see my transition and they encourage it and they want to be involved with it, but they don't want to be too transparent. Yeah. And, you know, my sisters are married and they have kids and their husbands. And I think a lot of times it's difficult for them to be transparent with their little brother, which mm -hmm. I get. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to my 75 year old father, just last night we were reading the book of Proverbs and we were talking about the parts that hit us at home. And he was saying that I honor God so much that if I tell people how much I honor him, people will think that I'm trying to be perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, that's not the, that's yeah. not the point. That's uh, right. Your yeah. point is that you're a changed human being mm -hmm. now, uh, walking with Christ. Yeah. Right. Uh, so yeah. as his son, I told him what you're really saying is that you love him so much that you need to tell people to fall in love with Jesus in order to know the God that you honor. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Amen. And I said, because that's how I look at you. I honor you because you honor God. Yeah. And I never saw that growing up until I fell in love with Jesus. Amen. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That's, it. that's, that's a, it. That's a great exactly. point, Adam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and the, the most important thing is that we can be the examples. And a, a lot of times people, well, I don't know what to say. You know, yeah. there's a lot of times you don't you don't have to say anything. I mm -hmm. mean, people can see a change mm -hmm. physically within you and just go, Absolutely. wow, you're yeah. like another person. You're, mm -hmm. uh, that's amazing. And they have uh, what, what I call the attraction. Yeah. You know, the draw to want what you have. Mm -hmm. And, and we gotta, you got to continually show that to your 75-year-old dad, mm -hmm. yeah. that, that love of Christ. Yeah, like it's like it's and not in going backwards, but in their mind they're more sensitive, more reverent, more honorable, you know, more proud. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, they have so much wisdom that comes with that. Yes, yeah. but they just think that I I'd rather choose my words wisely, mm -hmm. right? Which I respect so much. But at the same time, we need to see that the sensitivity that at any age, any time, any lifestyle. Are we showing that? Are we willing to show the same sensitivity like that person is our father or our mm -hmm. son or, or somebody real intimate to us? Because right. that's how Jesus always looked at each and every one of us. He yep. did, didn't he? He didn't. He, yep. he didn't. Uh, the, uh, yeah. the, uh, the, I, I always think of the woman the at the lepers well. And, yeah, yeah, all of the that. The well. I mean, it, it, didn't, yeah. it didn't matter. Mm -hmm. Right, John? It didn't, it didn't. It didn't matter who you were, what status yeah. you had, if... If you had a need and you were you were just willing to to believe in him, 
uh, he would uh, he would give you everything mm. uh, that exactly. he had. So right. yeah, amazing. Uh, that, that's just uh, absolutely amazing. Well, yeah. uh, Adam, uh, yeah. thanks thanks for supporting thanks for and listening, and and uh, we'll we'll keep you in prayer yes. and, and yeah, your your Bible study and and praying for your dad and. And uh, you just you just keep on doing what God has you do. Man. Mm-hmm. That's the most important thing that w- that we're supposed to do. And you got a little Bible study praying for you guys every Saturday morning. Just know that. All right? <laughs> oh, amen. Well, wow, I you, felt Adam. that, man. Thank, thank you, you, Adam. God bless. Thank, thank you. Thank God you bless too. to you too, man. Thank you. All right, we got a shout out. Uh, yeah. We're getting lots of. Lots of calls in yeah. here this morning today. Uh, mm-hmm. Our buddy Steve mm-hmm. uh, from Lake Havasu City, uh, pass it on, listening, love the show. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, we love you right back, Steve. Thanks yeah. so much, Thanks. man. We really appreciate We appreciate our, our, our uh, support. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've also got um, Tracy from Florida, uh, Port Lucie. Port, Port Lucie? St. Lucie, I, Florida, yeah. I Port believe. Lucie? Port Lucie? I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Hmm. Her daughter was killed. Hmm. Um, prayers for the family. Yeah. Wow. Absolutely. We we'll, uh, we'll always lift we'll, you up in prayer, Tracy. We'll we'll mark that down for you, Tracy, mm-hmm. and um, and and we'll be uh, we'll be praying for you as a team. Yes. Uh, yeah. I know that um, we do that quite often. Uh, uh, Miss Pat leads that. Yeah. And uh, through Terry and mm-hmm. and and. Um, we have a, a very uh, sincere, uh, caring, loving team, yeah. and that's probably one of the best parts about right. doing this live show, yeah. that we hear from people all over the yeah. world, mm. and um, we are we are praying for you and your family. Yeah. Uh, that's a, a really hard loss. Yeah. So we, yes. why don't we just lift her up in prayer uh, right now? I like that, John. Okay. okay. Dear Heavenly Father, we just come before you today um, and lift Tracy and her family up to you. Um, the loss of their daughter um, sounds like it was a tragic, tragic loss there, Lord, um, uh, by murder. Uh, Lord, I just uh, pray that you would just hold the family in your arms. Um, there's a purpose for this and that your purpose would be revealed and they would know exactly what is going on in their lives and what um, their daughter's life meant. Um, to guiding people to you and that it's all for your glory Lord give them comfort yes. give them peace and uh, hold them hold them in your uh, thoughts and prayers in your name we pray Amen. Amen Amen Amen. well we thank you uh, Tracy for uh, reaching out to mm-hmm. us we, we thank you so much mm-hmm. uh, thank you so much for listening you know again this goes yep. out all over the world mm-hmm. it does and uh, a great way to communicate and tell others of your struggles right mm-hmm. i mean if you keep it in and you put that backpack on and carry it it gets it gets oh, about it's as heavy as can very be very heavy and yeah. uh, if you share it <laughs> uh it, the burdens become lighter yeah and uh and challenges so, although they don't go away a lot of times mm-hmm. they make it just a little bit easier mm-hmm. to to uh to handle mm-hmm. day by day and we know that that God knows. Yep. Uh, he knows the whole situation mm-hmm. and he walks with us, right? Yep. And when, when our knees begin to buckle yeah. a little bit, he just holds us up yeah. and he walks us through and brings people in our life that, that will, will come alongside of us. And that's why we have an advocate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Amen. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Very, exactly. very important. Mm-hmm. So uh, thank you for all those phone calls this morning. Again, 1-800-721-9313. And the local number nine two eight eight five five nine one one zero. You know, we just want to remind you that uh, we don't know the time or the day or, um, that we may not be here. That's right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we need to pay attention to that. I I uh, I got a phone call a couple of weeks ago, two three weeks ago now, mm. and uh, it was uh, a gentleman uh, who asked me to go and pray for his brother. Hmm. Uh, he didn't have very long to live uh-huh. and he was in a coma hmm. uh, but I know that and I, I want the listeners to hear this that hmm. people in a coma can still hear hmm. I experienced that through my ex to wa- ex-wife and when two months later she woke up she spoke of hearing everything every word and being being able to not being able to communicate back but to hear mm-hmm. the word. So if you go through that with a parent or a child, or 
they can still hear you. Yes. So you wow. speak the word, you, you sing to them, you mm-hmm. pray for them, they can hear you. And I, I, I walked into the room and, and talked with a family for a little while and put my hands on his toes. Then mm-hmm. he opened his eyes. Hmm. And I told him who I was and I prayed with him and, and he accepted Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. and said thank you and went back to sleep and four o'clock in the morning he left the earth wow so no matter what situation no matter what you're going through no matter what struggle with uh, a, a kid or a grandkid or a grandparent or mm-hmm. a parent uh, we need to be the evidence of mm-hmm. newness and a new walk a new walk in your faith yeah. without a white flag because right. we don't need to surrender Mm-mm. We don't need to surrender anymore. We have the King of Kings and right. the Lord of Lords. And yes. He's going to guide us. He's going to equip us. Mm-hmm. There are people that say, I, I don't know what to say. I, I, I can't talk. Will mm-hmm. you just be there mm-hmm. yeah. and let God do the talking through you? The Spirit will intercede. Yes. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. A- absolutely. So um, through good times, through bad times, through struggles, through pers- I want to challenge you to challenge God. Yeah, yeah. If you're going through something and you're lost and you're lonely and you don't know where to turn and you can hear, you can hear my voice today. You challenge God mm-hmm. and and ask Him to show Himself, reveal Himself to you, so that you can have the same thing that we do: mm-hmm. inner peace and joy and 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 live with the Holy Spirit. We yes. have eternal life. We'll never die. Mm-hmm. Yep. And that's the that's, thing. That's yeah. exactly what the devil's trying to prevent. Yeah that we have a relationship and accept Jesus Christ so we'll live forever Mm -hmm. and and uh, he wants to take that away from us yeah so really really important if you're in a a, a dark dark place and and you can hear my voice you reach out to 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 Jesus Christ today amen yeah definitely amen again our number 1-800-721-9313 and 928-855-9110. Uh, shout out to uh, Brother Mark in Connecticut listening. Uh, we, we love you and, and stay healthy. Uh, we know that weather there is kind of challenging and cold. I'll yeah, tell you what, it was a, a little, little bit. It was a little bit cold in, in Dallas. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it was... Yeah. It, it, it was it was nice to come back to the 70s, <laughs> 70 degrees, and wherever we you are. We were struggling here in the 70s, Mike, yeah. while you were in the 20s. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's I been also rough. also it's heard a little warm. Yeah. 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 I yeah. had to get the dust off my shorts. Uh, okay. It was a little yeah. struggle. Yeah. 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 Flip flop. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's 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 rough. I feel the love. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're better together, Mike. We yeah. are. <laughs> yes. We we are. So That's we'd love it. to hear from you. We'd love to pray for, for you today. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we can inspire each other. Mm-hmm. That's what I like. Yeah, uh, when, when somebody's going through a hard time, mm-hmm. we, we can just easily mm-hmm. send out a text. Yeah. Hey, here's my situation. Pray for me. Yeah. And, uh, boy, you got a lot of people that pray for you. Yeah because it gets sent out and uh, and that's the answer right there yeah. we all go through tough times uh, sickness and and uh, and challenges right. in our life right. uh, financial physical uh, mental so uh, lots of different kinds yeah. of challenges and sicknesses and everything else so. yeah so last week Mike in, in the conference you were at is there um, one thing that just really jumped out at you that made an impact in your life from that conference. Ooh, good question. Wow. Well, uh, there, you know, there was there was a couple of things, and and um, one was I'm a visual learner. Yeah, uh, and, I'm there with you. An imaginative yeah. learner. Yeah. So, uh, Phil Dooley from from Hillsong in Australia mm-hmm. uh, was talking about um, how we need to have that faith of a mustard seed and, mm-hmm. and what it looks like mm-hmm. and it's the smallest of seeds and mm-hmm. and how the root is so important mm-hmm. and the underneath where you can't see you can't see any you see the beauty of the tree right right and, and god takes care of all of that mm-hmm. but without the root without the underneath yeah. growth mm-hmm. then the rest of the tree uh, has no life right mm-hmm. and for us the root of our life is our faith yes and, and belief and he showed a picture of the impossible because you would look at it and and say well how can you grow anything on that rock it's pure rock mm-hmm. and it, at like 3500 4000 feet 
by the top of this rock at the edge of a cliff <laughs> were t- two gigantic trees. Wow. And I, I thought, well, that, that's impossible. Yeah. How, how can that grow? It's, I love that illustration. It is, yeah. It's one huge rock, but yet... The trees are there. The trees are thriving. Those two wow. trees were thriving. So what man thinks is absolutely impossible, mm-hmm. which would be, you know, yeah. my perspective on that, uh, it's not God's. Wow. Uh, God can do anything, anywhere, at any time, and anyone's life and that situation just kind of there was there was a bunch of those moments for me yeah but that one when we saw that picture was like wow yeah how could we not how could we not think that that god is is almighty and powerful oh definitely yeah, yeah. no matter how hard in the heart no mm-hmm. matter how deep the sin he can reach it oh, uh, yeah, definitely. amen amen hey we have uh, another uh, caller on the line line three uh, good morning. Welcome to Recovery Radio, Patrick. Hey, good morning, guys. Hey, good morning, Patrick. John. Good, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Mike, Patrick. how are you guys doing? We're doing, We're doing good, good in the studio today. Yes, thank you. Well, I'll tell you what. I wanted to call and just share something with you guys. You know, I'm coming up on five months of recovery now. Amen. Let's yes. ring that bell. Yeah. Amen. Let's ring that bell. I, I, am, I am constantly amazed by God's faithfulness mm. and his ability to, to take care of me regardless of of, of what I've done in my past, and regardless of, uh, of of my past failures, he has just continued to take care of me over the past five months, and it's uh, it's been an amazing thing to witness. Um, and I wanted to I wanted to offer some encouragement uh, to those that are that are struggling out there that are uh, that are not knowing where to turn. Um, the answer is simple. The road's not easy, but the answer the answer is really mm-hmm. simple. The answer is Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Um, Another thing um, that I wanted to share is 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 not only has has God healed me from my addiction, but He has continued to place people in my life in the most random of circumstances. Mm-hmm. If if you're looking from from a human perspective, the most random of circumstances. But it seems like every week somebody else comes into my life that uh, that is struggling, that has uh, that that uh, some people I don't know, some people that I've known for a while, and uh, God's given me the opportunity to share part of my story with him and to offer encouragement and um you know so not only will he heal you of your of your problems you know whether it's life issues whether it's a chemical dependency whether whether it's uh you know a psychological addiction like i had i i think that uh that it's amazing that god has not only not only freed me from that but he's also you know even in this short five months allowed me to uh, be a catalyst for change in other people's lives as well yeah. and uh you know a wise man once told me god never wastes a hurt <laughs> and uh that is so that true. is just so true yes so it is. um so thank you guys for what you're doing um uh, hey, and, man, and thank I, you, I just wanted to just wanted to share that today thank yeah, you thank so you, much for sharing Patrick, That's it's, awesome. you, you know you i i like that and i'm going to use the exact words past failures yeah mm. right yeah. Past. Uh, yeah. oh it, it um it, the devil just keeps you right down on the ground oh, yeah, with your failures. Oh, you've tried over and over, mm. and you can't do anything. Look at you. You're yeah. really your value has and you have no value. Mm. And and yet, uh, when we give that to God, He just tosses it aside. Mm. Yes, and, and and doesn't bring it up again. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, people may uh, you know bring that up in a challenge, and and you'll be able to walk through that. Because you'll uh, you'll have some some knowledge and knowing that okay, I, uh, Christ will will be right with me, and and to forgive you, mm-hmm. you know, uh, so many people don't understand that that it, it, the power of of God's forgiveness. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, you know, we tend to beat ourselves up and oh, still do. carry that past yeah. around, right? And, exactly. And and say, well, you know, I'm working on forgiving myself. Well, mm-hmm. you better get going because. God has already forgiven you. He's not going to bring it up. Mm, He's it. thrown all that away, mm. and He wants you to look forward, not backwards. Right. We can't, we, you know, right. we don't, uh, we don't drive a car looking through the rearview mirror. <laughs> yeah, once if you we, acknowledge it, yeah. it's time to move forward. It right? is, it yeah. is, and, yeah. and the, we're hard the price on ourselves. Has already been paid. It, it has, it. it has. Amen. Well, Amen Patrick, hey, congratulations, five months, man. Yeah, that's great. Good Patrick. job. You keep, job. Uh, you keep walking in faith, and and uh, we're so grateful that you're. Uh, you're listening, man. We appreciate you, and we'll pray for you and mm-hmm. you and your family. And, and uh, thank you so much. 
Thanks, man. You guys, you guys have a great. Hey, you too. You Enjoy too. the rain. Bye. Yes. Right. <laughs> hey, you know, uh, that's um, that's a really good point that that was brought up, and mm -hmm. and we always have to be mindful. Uh, you know, we, I know uh, uh, people with uh, uh, so many challenges, loss of a loved mm -hmm. one, uh, mm -hmm. going through yeah. a, a struggle personally. Sometimes yeah. uh, we're going to have a guest. Um, pretty soon that's mm -hmm. going through cancer mm -hmm. and what the chemo does to the body mm -hmm. and yeah. and uh, uh, having people come alongside you just to, to love on you is probably one of the most important things that we mm -hmm. can do yes. mm -hmm. and if if we're caught up in our own stuff um, we really don't have time to love and give godly love because mm -hmm. you have to receive that to right. give it away You can't mm -hmm. give away something you don't have mm -hmm. and uh, So God fills you up mm -hmm. to equip you to get you out of your own head To help somebody else exactly and when you do that it, you Internally change mm -hmm. yes. you feel a, a purpose and a newness right. and there there's such value in that it's so important and uh, so we'll yeah we'll hear firsthand from from a, a guest that's coming up yeah i like what patrick said too because i i've heard that before but i always forget about that that god never wastes a hurt he mm -hmm. doesn't he doesn't i mean if, if something's happened in your life that can be used to, he to help somebody else it. oh definitely he will every time and yeah it, it goes back to that thing where you we always try to oh it's only it's only happened to me i'm not going to say anything i'm the only one that's ever done this <laughs> or i've experienced mean. this but it's not and god knows that because there's nothing new under the sun no it's the same thing over and over and over again. thousands of yes. years it's been done yeah, right so, yep and he's like yep you just did something and i'm not going to waste it now you're going to preach into somebody else's life yeah somebody else that needs healing you know yeah. and healing and revealing that whole thing he doesn't waste it yeah i call it my toolbox yeah right yeah you don't have to live that no but but you still have that mm -hmm. and you're you're able to uh to tell somebody yeah. about what you went through where you were mm -hmm. what you did mm -hmm. and um uh, uh, that that changes everything oh, yeah. uh, because you've walked in their shoes mm -hmm. and there becomes a an mm -hmm. understanding and you build a friendship yeah. through that and uh, and you watch that person grow and change oh, yeah. and it's yeah. like a, it's, a, yeah, it's like the flower yeah you know what I mean it starts yeah. and then you see the greenery and yeah. the excitement of that and mm -hmm. then through through the rest of that the amazing color that mm -hmm. comes out of out of that mm -hmm. and you just watch another person grow yeah, yeah. it's it's simply yeah, amazing it is and it's it, it, it's all God. I want you to hear that it's nothing to do with us. Right. Nope. That's for right. sure. All I did was follow directions. Okay. Do this, this. Do that. Do this. Do that. Yeah. I know if I do it, it doesn't work. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Anytime I let myself get in the way, it's a mess. And, it, it's and our, terrible. And our answer, our, our answer in faith is prayer. Yes. Right? Praying mm -hmm. for each other. Mm -hmm. I, I'm so blessed to have a, a, a wife. I... I um, I just uh, uh, ended up uh, way above my my, my grade. That, uh, Sorry, Mike, I'm gonna have to agree with you on that. Yes, oh. I, know. I, I know. I know. God knows what He's doing because He put us together. So I'm so I'm so thankful for her. And I just wanted to share something really quickly that it just came to me last night. My husband was writing a song, and he because you just brought up, you know, our, our faith and mm -hmm. we pray and all of that, but. The thought that um, our faith needs to be a sacrifice, just like Jesus sacrificed for us. What are we sacrificing in our lives to show God, you know, our faith? Mm -hmm. And there's so many times I think I, I thought that was so insightful of him to to create some lyrics about that, mm. about is your faith a sacrifice? Mm. Mm. Wow, that's really good. I can't wait to hear that song. Yeah, yeah. me too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Finished. Oh, yeah. he's not finished yet. Okay. <laughs> he's still working on it. Jesse, get that song finished. Yeah. 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 Hurry up, boy. <laughs> yeah. And, and, you know, that's that's so important. That Want we that strive new to album. move yeah. forward. Yeah. yeah you right. got to have skin in the game. Yes, mm -hmm. you do. You do. You do. But you know, it's it's still it's it, even though skin in the game, and I, I want people to understand that it, it's a beautiful thing. It is. Oh, it is. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. sometimes we, we're going to have ex, yeah. actual trials, and yeah. we, you know, just because you know we're Christians doesn't yeah. mean that everything just goes so nice oh, and no. smooth and everything. That's else. why I, like, I love I love Paul. He's you know yeah. to live is Christ, to die is gain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At eight, I mean, all those letters he wrote in the New Testament were all mm -hmm. from him being in prison. Yes. It, it was. So, you just look at that and what he did and how much he's impacted the world 
right. just based on where he was. And he could have been a typical person. Oh, I'm in prison. Woe is me. Mm -hmm. But no, he was set free by Christ. Yeah. Right. And he was free. It didn't matter what they did to yeah. him. It he, didn't care. He, he was captured, but Christ. free. I don't care. Yeah. I'm alive. I'm going to preach yeah. Christ. Yeah. If you kill me, hey, I'm, I'm, living, I'm living better than I was on earth. Yeah. So, yeah. And that's what I'm that's speaking awesome. into is yeah. is um, when when you're in that faith and you want to grow, mm -hmm. taking those growth steps, God is going to be right there beside oh, you, yeah. even though you you may be what you what the world sees as, sac as a sacrifice. Yeah. Um, you know, God will be there to carry you through it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And just being able to listen to him. That's that's the hardest part mm -hmm. is filtering out the world and listening to what God says. Absolutely. Because the world always tells you something completely different yeah. than what. God's telling you to do and it's really hard to well hold it you want me to do but you know I don't under you know it, you just get that battle that constant battle in your head well hold it you want me to do this but that's not what the world's doing yeah I, I need to do it this way and he's, he's like no I don't want you to do that yeah you know, it's so, so it's foreign just, to us here it is very, very. And, do, and do you feel alone you yeah. know do you feel alone out there the the listener that nobody cares nobody mm -hmm. knows mm -hmm. you know you don't have anybody to talk to uh, mm -hmm. As a as a Christian, I I always know, oh, yeah. and I have continual conversation mm -hmm. with Christ, and He can hear me, yes. and He knows yeah. what I'm going through, mm -hmm. and He's with me, anyways. Yeah, and uh, that's the difference, mm -hmm. and that that in itself gives you some peace. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. Knowing that He knows, He cares, He's going to help you through mm -hmm. it, and the the world doesn't have that. Oh yeah. It's it's a facade. Mm -hmm. I can do it, and yeah. and no, you can't. And it could be devastating consequences mm -hmm. through trying to fix your own stuff. Oh yeah, definitely. And uh, yeah, and so, I enjoy those moments. No, yeah. no distractions. Yeah. No noise. Nothing. Yeah. Just being quiet somewhere, with just by myself. But I'm there with the Lord. Yes. Yeah. And just I having know. that, yeah. and then the realization that I can talk to God. And I'm sitting here, and I can talk to God without any distractions. Mm -hmm. And just that oneness with Him, it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the, the world, like I said, it doesn't have that. So if that's no. you today, and and you're going through that challenge and loneliness, and you feel abandoned, and nobody cares about you from your abuse, sexual, physical, mental uh, capacity, and and then it's getting harder and harder. I'm, uh, I'm going to just ask mm -hmm. you to just. Just sit quietly and, and reach out to Christ and, and uh, ask him to come into your life because it'll change your life. Everyone in this studio uh, has experienced mm -hmm. that. And yeah. uh, that's the difference. Yeah. And that's the whole difference. If you're not sure how to do that, please call us at 1-800-721-921. Yeah. We'd love to talk to you about that. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's just, uh, if, uh, if you're listening today, we just want you to just close your eyes. Mm -hmm. just uh, just be peaceful and just be quiet and you just simply say a few words and you can repeat after me mm -hmm. uh, Father please forgive me for I'm a sinner uh, I, I want you to come into my life to be part of my life to give me the helper to give me the Holy Spirit to be with me and to walk with me so that I'm not alone again uh, I want to live with you in heaven. I want to have eternal life with you. I want to know who you are and build a relationship. I want a different life. Mm -hmm. I want to walk a different way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And, and, and if that's you, if, if you've said that today, uh, we haven't done that for a little while, John. No, we haven't. Uh, yeah. If, if that's you, send us a note mm -hmm. that, um, that I've got Christ in my life. I've got a newness. I've mm -hmm. got a new walk. And uh, we're going we're gonna to know who you are so that we can pray for, for you and your walk. And, mm -hmm. and uh, so let us know. Let us hear from you so, mm -hmm. so uh, yeah. we can help you. Yep. And uh, definitely, if you, if you have said that prayer today, get plugged in somewhere in your community. You need to go. Um, get plugged into a church family if you don't have one already. Uh, get plugged in there. Let them know that you've given your life to Christ. And they can guide you down what the next steps are, what, what you need to do um, to build that relationship and keep that relationship going. So important. Very, and, very and, important. And I want to tell you, you, you put down your your uh, perspective on, on what that will be mm -hmm. or what that will be like because it's going to be nothing like that. Nope. And, mm -hmm. and and find your home. I call it, you know, your home church. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of churches are different. Yeah, they they do a lot of different 
yeah. things. Find find your uh, home. Find mm-hmm. your peaceful place where you you feel so accepted. Mm-hmm. You'll know yeah. uh, right away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and search for that mm-hmm. because there are many. There are there are many programs. There are many different kinds of mm-hmm. of uh, places uh, that you can get help. Mm-hmm. And uh, God will help you find that. Right. Yes. Right. Now yep. you have a helper. Now yep. you, you'll be directed yeah. and follow through with that and, yep. and tell somebody that. And yep. if you're just thoroughly confused and have no clue what to do, drop us a line. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Yes. Go to recoveryradiolhc.com yep. and we will help you. Absolutely. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Well, thank you guys. Okay. Uh, again, this has been, the, it's always the fastest show. Oh, on on radio hey, oh, oh, it really on. is so we're going to take care of a, we're going to take care of a little bit of business and oh. uh, and uh, john go yeah. ahead and uh, 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 i sure will i'm doing this begrudgingly here cuz we shouldn't be over we should keep going right <laughs> our engineers looking at me kind of fun <laughs> He says he's, 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 he's like, well, I will yeah. not answer that question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> On grounds that it might incriminate me. No, yeah. no seriously. Right. Um, yeah, I've always thought this show needs to be longer. Yeah. 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 One day. God knows that. Yeah. But, uh, God knows there's that. certain logistic things that just mm. have to happen in order yeah. for that hey, to a happen. Lot, so. A lot of things coming up in our, in our future. We have our, yeah. our great big one-year yes, one year celebration, mm-hmm. March, mm-hmm. I believe it's 14th. Uh-huh. Yes, so, so we're going to, here, here's a bell up. ringer. There you go. Uh, we're just going to, we'll have an amazing show. That'll yes. be a lot of fun. We have lots of statistics and mm-hmm. lots of different things we're going to share with you uh, mm-hmm. because uh, you, the listener, it's all about you that's so it. we're gonna you know we're gonna party with you that's it so a lot of a lot go. of good things coming yeah. up and some yeah. amazing guests yeah. that miss pat has yeah. uh, has wrangled in so uh awesome. we're, we're gonna have some uh some really good shows coming yeah. up that's great and uh first week in march is the pleasure drive correct that's correct yes. yeah one yep. week away one yeah. Week away. Um, yeah so yeah looking forward to that yes. we'll all be here yep. we'll be here in the morning mm-hmm. two cool. weeks from today you two guys weeks. will be in that's the right. with me so, two weeks right. from today and we'll have uh We'll have, um, let's see, the whole crew, I yeah, believe, I think so. will be here, mm-hmm. except me, maybe. What? Yeah, I <laughs> might. I might. Ha- I might. Fearless leader. I, I might be away. I think I'm traveling, but I don't think so. I'll, I'll look at my schedule. <laughs> so, anyways, but uh, the seventh. It'll be yes, March seventh. Yes, I won't be. Uh, oh, good. Uh, good. Won't. His wife said no. He's not traveling. He's yes. staying here. <laughs> Yeah, oh, no. Oh, I she said he's she not going to be my here. bookkeeper oh. and, and coordinator and travel agent and everything. Just said no, he won't be here. So, sorry, folks. Oh well. But uh, I'll be listening. Well, you can come in Monday listening. through Friday, any yeah, day of the go. week, Mike. And, you know, all of you guys are welcome to do yeah. that. Uh, yeah, any, love, any day of the week, you guys can come in and we love and, uh, your be morning a guest. show. Yeah. Um, if you'd like, you know, Debbie, I believe is here. You can always just let her know. Hey, I'll be in on this Amen. day and. And, uh, you know, you could spend, uh, I would, you know, Jesse, yeah. uh, you guys are always invited. Yeah, so. We love, we love oh, coming here you. anyway. So, yeah, good thank stuff. Thank you kindly. I'm at a crashing, crashing once in a while. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, stop by. We'd All love right. to have you in the studio. All right. Hey, let's do a, a quick shout out here to our sponsors. Thank you so much for sponsoring us and uh, keeping KNLB on the air. We have Ohana Poke Bowl. Uh, at the Bachelor Shopping Center, 3269 Maricopa Avenue, bringing authentic Hawaiian poke bowl and Hawaiian foods to you. Ace Pest Control, 20 years serving the Lake Havasu area with termites, pest, and weed control. AcePestControlAZ.com or 928-680-0988. And we have Sunshine RV with experienced sales and service at its best and a great parts department as well. 2995 Maricopa Avenue or 928-855-855. 6648 and I just want to do a quick shout out to Lou and Flagstaff who's listening today. Thank you so much for listening, Lou. Uh, thank you, Lou. Yeah, good stuff. Hey, um uh, Val pulled our winner for our t-shirt or hat and it, it is Tracy. Okay. Thank you, Tracy from Florida. Mm-hmm. So, uh we will get that information to our producer, Miss Pat, mm-hmm. and she will contact you and, and yeah. get you a t-shirt. And we're keeping your family in prayer. Or a hat. Yes, and prayer. Lots yes. of prayer for that yeah. family. Mm-hmm. Amen. Yeah. Hey, uh, we thank you so much for, uh, for just for everything today. We, we hope that you've uh, enjoyed the show. Uh, you want to take yeah. us out in prayer, John? Uh, yeah, sure. I'd love to. Dear Heavenly Father, just thank you so much for this time that we come together and worship you. We thank you so much for all the listeners, the people who've called in. And Lord, I just pray that you uh, lay your hand on those people that have turned their lives over to you. 
and it accept of your lordship and your guidance in their life. Lord, I just pray for a special blessing on them. And again, thank you so much for the time. Um, Lord, also, just I'd like to lift Tracy and her family up again. Uh, Lord, they've gone through a tragic loss in their family. Um, just continually help them and guide them and comfort them in their loss. Uh, once again, Lord, thank you for everything you've done. In your name I pray. Amen. 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 Hey, uh, another shout out to uh, uh, Paul in Florida. Oh. We appreciate uh, we appreciate you listening. Hey, that's why we're better together, right? Amen. Amen. So, yes. Listen, yes. I'm your host, Mike, and keep coming back. And we are Better Together Recovery Radio. Have a great week. Goodbye for now from Recovery Radio, where we have hope for you. Yeah.